does. Yep. Oh, you must have good old pressure because the darn old pressure gauge pegged out at 120 pounds. <laughs> you can't tell if it turns. Land belt's been. Yeah. Oh, that yep. Good. What? That'd be the air cleaner. No, that's not the air cleaner. That's bullshit. That's the air cleaner. What is that? Oh, that's the valve cover. <laughs> it'll be fine. I said it'll be fine. Yeah, it'll be alright. And uh, walk behind the sickle bar my way. Look what that engine car brought. That's a GP. What? That GP on that trailer. Cars out of that darn barn. Yeah. 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 One. That one. That one. And that ZD is over there. This one. Yeah. It don't look as bad as the economy. No. That, no. That. I guess. Yeah. That one and that yeah. one. Yeah. There was more, wasn't it? Yeah, there's one more. That one. It's a little stiff, but it turns. And oh man, that's filming. Do what? I said, dude was right. They weigh a metric ton. I didn't see those. Oh uh, no. I think now five engines. Oh, the other ones up there. Look where? Up there. I didn't even see these on the list. Huh. I didn't even see those on the list. Lots of bought. 484 is a flex four. Yeah. 486 is a Fuller Johnson. Yeah. 497 is a Fairbanks. Yeah. 5007 is a Cushman. Yeah. 5013 is a diesel. And 148 is the crawler. Yeah. This thing here went for fifteen dollars. Really? Yeah. Man, I always thought I'd know that. Yeah, I didn't even know it. Is that about that? Yeah. That's pretty nifty. This thing here, I bid on it. Is this that Cushman? Yeah, it's the Cushman. Does it move? Yeah. That's the crank guard for something. Sit that back up there. Yeah. A bank, yeah. if I'm not mistaken. Actually, one of those. Yeah. Right, we'll see. Let's see right there. There's a box of parts. Yeah. Well, let's go pay for this shit. All right. Get this whole deal started. Yeah. Avery pressure. Stain tractor, kinda. 
remember when we moved that corn spreader. What's near that easy? I'd hate to have to move one of them like that. We got that dolly out of the truck. Yeah. We could get some of that over stuff there. Over here. Yeah. It's what it is, a fleet track HG frame. What did that thing go for finally at Dodge Brothers there? I don't know. full of water. <clears throat> Bad. I can't.
got anything else? Yeah, we got a little four cylinder motor up here. <clears throat> and then there's a big tall motor that's sitting up there on the porch. And I don't think we're going to be able to lift it. Allman Taylor 3060. Away. Well, I mean, I didn't know where they were going with that motor right there. Yeah. Wonder did they start all this stuff and bring it out here? That's a load on that trailer right there. Heck of a load. Back end of the truck squatted a little bit. That was a horrendous crash. <laughs> we didn't hurt the trailer, did we? That track caught. Do what? I said, because that track over there caught. Did it? Yeah. No, but it didn't exactly land like I wanted it. Well, it's like, look at what it did to that wood. I don't know what. It didn't even land on there. Uh-uh. Chain. Yeah. Mm. 
wonder if we could get to Massey and push the front bumper against the back of it. Probably gonna have to. So here's the Cushman. Oh, this is a nifty little engine. It is missing the side cover, so it again. If you got one, let me know. Uh, the piston actually moves in this surprisingly because when I got it, spark plug was out of it and it's sitting like this. So, but this camshaft is stuck in its bearings. Is the reason I'm getting the gear lash, but nothing else is moving. Uh, the governor's complete minus one weight that's broken. It has the clutch and a pulley. Uh, looks like the exhaust valve is opening. I put a boroscope down in there and it the cylinder looks nice in the top of the piston. Uh, it still has part of the oiler on it. I'd like to take this engine and mount it on a long stand and get it restored. Also, it has no cracks in the block or anything. And hook it to this pump and have a pump engine. <clears throat> Still has the original brass carburetor on it. Probably cost what I give for the engine. So, definitely a restorable. All right, so I figured I'd show everything off of the trailer here, so it's inside now. There's the little Fairbanks, Nelson Brothers. It's actually a few days later, so actually quite a few. It's over a week later, but everything's inside now. There's a motor mower. Ignore this mess. I'm trying to get it cleaned up. Cause I got a bigger project that's gonna be coming in here before long. And here's a flex four. I can't do a will it run on this flex four. It's gonna have to have a full restoration. Don't know if you can see it or not, but this lifter right here is busted. But other than that, this is a pretty solid motor. None of the bearings are loose. But there's a bunch of sludgy crap down there in the bottom. This is a really nifty motor. It has a Zenith. Probably not the original carburetor, but that's a Zenith carburetor. You saw us unload the John Deere, so. There'll be a video coming up here for long on that, too. There's chickens flying down out of the rafters up there, so, up there, so ignore them. And there's our 1923 Fairbanks. 
I think it's made it into a couple of background of a couple of videos, so. I guess that's going to be it for this video, and we'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.